Metal Up World, this is CJ with Metal Motivation. I am here doing split screen interview with my main man, Metal Dave from Weymouth in the UK. Metal Dave, greet the people. Metal Up World, get thrashing, drink beer. <laughs> Me and Dave are celebrating um, metal, beer, and motivation. Dave, just so we can get right to it, uh, tell the folks a little bit about who you are, the band that you have, and the cause you've got working out there for Thrash in the UK. I'm Metal Dave Wakem. I have a band called Wakem's Territory. I am the front man, visionary, and rhythm guitarist. I started this project eight years ago as a one-man project. I had a four-track tape machine, I'd nail my own bass lines, I'd program drum beats, and I'd put the riffs on and vocal screen, and I'd press all that on CD and give them out. What I'd done in the process is I looked at the bigger picture, because I didn't just want to copy the Thrash ATC, I wanted to use the influence, but I asked myself, what is it that I love about these bands? And the simple answer was the way they expressed it, just the whole conviction thing, just the whole intensity. Right. So, after doing three CDs, I'd, I'd form the lineup that I have now. And to this day, it's all about the attack, just how I express it. And that's the power of thrash metal. Thrash metal has always been about the attack. It's always been about the aggression. That is something that, that even though we had the British invasion early on, from out of that came out of the East Coast and the West Coast, the American thrash. And you are really of a combination of those two traditions. And I love it. It's British thrash metal, the kind of stuff that'll blow the four walls out of a pub. But uh, at a personal level, Dave, you've been with Metal Motivation since basically we started. You've been since we started posting videos. You were one of the first people that connected with us on YouTube and then went over to Facebook and Again, you're in the UK. This is a part of this digital world where everybody's interconnected, especially around the cause of metal. And you've always been just a great encourager of us. How did you stumble upon metal motivation yourself? Well, I was in the process of a thirst for knowledge, inspiration, and what have you. So I was coming through YouTube, and on the homepage, I found metal motivation video, and there was you and Todd just looking at the camera like real mm -hmm. beady eyes, I thought this looks like that sort of video I want to check out. So when I played it, it was like bang, it blew me away because what I love about it is just the whole, it puts everything into a truthful perspective. It just lays, here it is, this is how it is, this is how you've got to do it. Because I've done all the how-tos and the nine easy ones to success or easy ways to suck, to, to suck ass or whatever. <laughs> uh, it was like, here's two guys that understand what it's all about, and although I get bits and pieces from Metal Band's interviews, but I wanted to hear, I, you know, but you guys, you and Todd, you just nailed it, nailed it on, and I haven't looked back since, and it works. Well, you know, and this is, you're such a great representation of everything that we want to do this for, because... Number one, you're not some kind of guy who's like on his last leg, you know, and that's not to put down anybody that, you know, comes to metal motivation that's really struggling in life. You 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 had a clear path, you knew your gifts, you knew your talents, you're seeking to maximize them, you're saying, you know what, I'd like to have this as an addition, you know, to help articulate the things I already feel, because that's kind of the way we felt, is that we want to be that sort of voice from behind. We don't want to be in front of people doing all that kind of thing. You know, people know what they're able to do, they understand what their gifts are, they know best how to manage their own lives. If we can just come in and help each other out, it works. In addition to that is the, the nature of the transformation of the music industry and why, it, even though you had guys in the early days, you mentioned Overkill, and we have a, you know, a, a person we both mutually admire, Rat Skates, who, you know, kind of in his film Born in the Basement, really described that whole do-it-yourself process that was necessary in those days when they didn't have the internet or anything like that. Still, there's almost a sense in which you doubly need that do-it-yourself spirit, don't you, in order to make oh, it happen? Yeah. You see, the way I see the uh, modern technology and the internet 
uh, social networking. It's like these things are all well and good, and to a degree they are kind of necessary, but it's, I find personally it's the way you use it. It's like rather than relying on friend counts and visits, I always find using the in-house facilities such as you've got the message box. I send out emails, put links on them, you can put you can share files on it, put pics, videos, and all that kind of thing. And you can actually and actually put put paragraphs on there like just keep it brief, just introducing yourself. And for every I'd spend hours sometimes doing that. And for let's say on the law packages it will be Say for every 100 emails sent, you'd probably get back about 10 or 15, and say you'd have 10 or 15 emails, most of them would say thank you very much, and that's it, but three of them, three of them will say good stuff, can you send us a CD, I've had that from radio stations and media outlets, and I'd send them a demo with like three songs and what have you. And some of them would get back to me and say, we're playing you on such and such a date and whatnot. And aside from the internet, you still, I still feel that you have to do the donkey work. You still have to pick up yeah. the phone. You still have to play shows. And you still need a product. For instance, CDs and merchandise. Although you can sell stuff on iTunes, and we're, we're going to be doing that soon, but it's like most heavy metal fans like us, like yourself, we like to have the hard copy of a CD right. in our hands and fans like something to remember the show they've seen. If they've seen a band live, if they've got the money in their pockets left over, they like to have a souvenir to take home. Well, speaking of, why don't you tell us a little bit real quick about your latest CD, which is uh, a live recording from a show you, you did... Um, uh, recently, and how can people get a hold of that and find out more about Wacom's territory? Basically, you can you can locate us on www.myspace.com forward slash Wacom's territory, or if you want to order a copy, you can email us at Wacom's territory at rocketmail.com. Just send us your request, and I will send you back the uh, postal address and what have you. And that's how you get a copy of our CD. All right, Dave, take us out. And whatever it is that you do, remember, do not suck. Metal up.